What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Figured I'd just do a very short video to show you the office where it's at and maybe some of the some of the other features of the cabin if you're new to my channel. Uh, all summer long I have been busy and ordering supplies and this and that and this place just got out of hand. I mean bad, but I spent the last few days cleaning it up. Still got a long way to go. So I'll show you around a little bit. We're not going to look at the kitchen much, okay? We got a lot of dirty dishes. I've been cooking not a lot. They're just big. Ah. All right, man, let's turn around and go here. And that's the bed I never use. Rooster uses it. I built it myself uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, a little dusty in there. Landscape timbers and some old barn wood with what I stained and did the same as a footboard there. Now this place is very, very small, so it doesn't have a lot of storage. So you can see I got a lot of spots like that that have laundry baskets full of clothes I'm not wearing. These are the unfinished stairs that I've built uh, when I built them last winter. Uh, those are not going to be the permanent stairs I want a nice some kind of a nice wood on there with a nice wood finish uh, these are the the banister that I built out of uh, rebar painted them black I'm gonna do a similar thing for the uh, deck outside let's go up here it's very this is where a lot of the crap gets stored man <laughs> show you what I've done up here now there's still no electrical up here. Actually, this line right here, I can tap into. I plan to put a little short wall right here to run my electrical because I'm not gonna be busted into the walls. I have cut all the old existing wire, so I don't have that. But this is gonna be a nice little room when I'm done with it. I did paint last winter, so this is all fresh uh, new paint. I've got another computer set up here. Uh, took my wreath down I, I, that was still up <laughs> thank you for whoever sent that so it's a, just a nice little area as you can see I've got the cedar railings and all that and this is a look from up here that is 20 I believe it's 25 foot from there down to there and I've got to figure out how to get a light up in there. I think I may be able to attach a plank across here where I can get up in there and I'm gonna hang a ceiling fan, but I want I want it to hang low. So that's what I'm planning to do on that. And of course, this summer I built the deck. This door still needs repaired. And I just discovered this has a piece of glass that goes up top. Didn't know that. Right, let me open this. The thing's broke, so I gotta hold my foot on it. And this is the new deck I built. I believe it's 12 foot by, I'm thinking 15, 16 feet. Uh, plenty of room for chairs. Still gotta get out of here, build the rails. Those are just safety rails put up. But I'm going to have some nice looking rails and that's about what we're going to do the next few weeks. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Alright. Man, you can see it's got a really nice view out here. And actually, it is warm enough right now where I could sit out here. It is nice. Sunset's going off over in there. Alright, let's go back in. Ah, wires. Well, those are the two cameras the one out front and the one in here uh, I ran them the best way to run them was up through here those will go tied back in when I get all that done but this hasn't been a big priority for me oh better not show that YouTube's funny and right there we have that's where I sleep and sit and then rooster gets it most of the other time steps. Miss Rooster, did you want to say hi? She says no. 
And this bar, I think ever since I've done YouTube, has been cluttered with junk, except for now. We've got uh, Live Edge, uh, or I don't know what you call them, railings that I put on here. I just sanded them real smooth, put polyurethane on them. The bar top was, it was actually an old shelf we took down at the pawn shop I worked at. Ugly, ugly cedar. I sanded it down, stained it, polyurethaned it, made a real nice top. And then up here, I built kind of an overhang. And up in here, there are some really nice Bose speakers, which I took the stereo that was hooked to them away with i mean this is a bose alexa that that blows it away so i didn't have a need for that hey ain't nobody talk ain't nobody talking to you you can't say that name with it what is she talking about alexa stop <sighs> So anyway, that's the bar area. And again, here I got more like live edge stuff. Even a piece of a log there that I finished. Uh, didn't go together too well. <laughs> and when I first started on the cabin, I bought one by fours and I charred them. And then I polyurethaned each and every one. Each one of these cost $3 a piece and I don't like them. I mean, they look fine up here. I also did it. That was the problem. They did not come out the same because they could not keep the same. They didn't. They didn't get the same kind of a lumber. You know, the same kind of wood. So you'd go to get another batch. You know, I'm building this place 40, 50 bucks at a time, and it would come out different. And so, all behind this wall, as you can see, I don't have trim up there. Is that all behind this wall? Is that? and this one actually come out pretty decent but i'm getting ready to pull all this down both both kinds of wood and you'll see what i'm going to do that as well as the ceiling i'm going to pull each one of them down i'm going to cut them down a little bit and get nice straight edges and space them together tighter because when i put these up they were green and this cabinet I built, which everyone that's seen the video knows, I've got all the hardware, I've got everything I need. I just got to get on it and finish it. And here in the kitchen, I went for probably three years with no cabinets, nothing. You know, I just had a table set up. I built my own cabinets. Uh, built them right on the wall. As you can see in the back, they're lined with cedar. Uh, these things are extremely solid. They do need some adjustments because as with the rest of it, they were green when I built them. The, the wood was green, so it need, you know, needed to dry up. And I just picked up this sink countertop for probably 15 bucks and it's temporary. And then in the back of the, where that bar area is, I've got that and there's actually a light there and then I built this cabinet here kind of using that tin I kind of like that I am really thinking about doing that up here because I think that would look great if I just continued that to there and that would give me a lot of cedar to work with that I need it in other places and I ain't gonna show you the bathroom uh, that thing's <laughs> that's another day and you know just built things where I could I built this little shelf area here and it's got little cupboards in here that are kind of useless I did the same thing over here uh, I built these little barn door looking things and there's storage in there whoops don't want to show that man and a place and that that tray will actually that table will actually it's on wheels this will actually slide out. Uh, I got junk in there. Slide out if I want to get a bigger TV, which I don't really whew, don't really see a need to get a bigger TV. And then again, I got more little shelves full full of junk there, books, and some more doors. And then here, 
I kind of did that pattern on both sides. I did one, did it there that way. I also did it that way there. Everything shrunk a lot more than I wanted it to. So that isn't so bad. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, here's a view of the railings of the loft. It's coming together. It's taken many, many years to get to this point. And man, cobwebs, let me tell you, the cobwebs will stick to this rough cedar like you could you wouldn't believe and it's very very hard to keep keep up with it uh if i could do it over i would have probably sanded them down and and polyurethaned it but i wanted to keep that that old west hotel look you know and up there i didn't know what to do so i got a bunch of my scrap i just cut little pieces kind of made it look like a sun and uh, that still needs a windowsill there but you could probably pick up with the camera the dust that sticks to these walls all right so there we have that like i said we ain't going in no bathroom this is where i tore this all apart this had a wall here i tore everything apart to build the stairs so i still got to put the ceiling in here and get that light reattached and there's my bathroom door Purposely, purposely put this spring on so it makes this Walton's Mountain sound. Huh? I like that. And that is one solid door. All right, let's go check out the office. Y'all ready for it? Here we are, man. I had those lights I ordered for uh, the screen patio but they were only 60 feet and I need a lot more for out there. So I ordered some more, put these up pretty cool. Just get, you know, give it a little ambience or whatever you want to call it. You can change it any color you want. It'll dance around to the music. Go purple, red, whatever you want to go. It's pretty cool. And these are, you know, you can leave these on. It lights the room up fine. And, uh, it doesn't cost much, hardly anything to run LEDs. And like I was talking about, I built the extra big windowsill. And I, it kind of covers that up nicely and it doesn't look, I don't think it looks out of place at all. This is a piece of cedar. So if it ever gets wet, it ain't gonna go, it ain't gonna rot or do anything. I took the curtains down. I had black curtains. I didn't, couldn't stand them. Actually, I butchered them. I went to cut them and messed them up, but I, I still, I think I just like the shade, but I think I'm going to get a black shade. How did I get paint on them already? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with a black shade on that. And I did paint. These are pretty cool shades. You just lift up on them and they automatically go up. There's no string. I got all this painted inside of here. And here again is the windowsill. Now we're not done in here, but I'm I'm just go ahead and calling it done. Uh, all I got left to do is here. I got to figure out what I want to do in here before I put this trim on. And I don't know what I'm doing out here yet, 100%. So once I figure that out, or this will probably be cedar, one of the pieces I reclaim from something. And then we'll have this black trim there as well. So that's that's all that's left to do in here. That is it. That trim around that doorway and on the floor. And that is it. But I do believe I am going to probably do that as well with this ceiling. I don't know. We're just going to have to see. That is an expense. So and there you have it, guys probably went a little longer than I wanted to but the reveal video yep there she is the red room and some of the rest of the cabin some of y'all may may not have seen or if you did see it it was pretty bad pretty bad so all right guys thanks for watching happy trails <laughs>